When the legendary rock band Van Halen tours, rumors follow. And when the band decides to take a break, the rumor mill goes into overdrive. So we went straight to the source to Eddie and Wolfgang Van Halen to get the skinny on the tour postponement, David Lee Roth and the band's future plans. And we also got a bonus, an inside look at the special bond here in this upcoming Father's Day between father and son. When Van Halen recently postponed 31 tour dates without an explanation, there was fear that guitarist Eddie Van Halen might be experiencing issues with his health. No cancer. Am I okay? That's a whole different question. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, we no, just we bit off no a little more than issues. we could chew, you know? Dad's yeah. perfectly fine. On June 27th, Van Halen will be taking a break from touring after 50 shows, supporting their new album, A Different Kind of Truth. They insist it has nothing to do with any tensions between themselves and off again, on again frontman David Lee Roth. Uncle, he's great. He's, he's hilarious. I mean, you just yeah. watch him on stage. He makes us crack up all the time. In Los Angeles, for a two-day layover, we caught up with Eddie at his home studio. This is uh, the infamous 5150s the recording studio. We're standing in the drum room. That's tape storage and piano room. This is guitar room. And obviously that's the console on the other side of the, uh, the, glass. the glass there. His son, Wolfgang, spent a lot of time in this studio as a child. At age 16, he joined Van Halen as its bass player. His first gig was the band's reunion tour with Roth in 2007. Dad taught me like how to do some power chords when I was like 13. Yeah, just simple, just you know, <laughs> you know, just move your hand around. And I just like he, <laughs> That's all I ever he taught me, me like the early stuff, and I just kind of took it in my own direction. Wolfie was just a toddler when Eddie noticed his son's passion for music. We were in the kitchen and a commercial. I feel like chicken today, <laughs> chicken today, and I saw him boogie to it, and he had rhythm, and I went, "Yes, God, thank you. He's got rhythm." And the two share another common trait. We both get, get so, so nervous. nervous. Oakland. Oakland. Before we went on, I, I uh, hurled, you know, I blew, blew lunch before we went on. <laughs> That's how nervous I get. Still. They say Van Halen may return to the road by the end of the year. I know that there's been talk of um, Australia and Japan in October and November. Uh, don't quote me on that because that's management that takes care of that and they call us and go, hey, you going here now? But I heard talk about that. Despite releasing a new album in February, they are planning to work on some new music and maybe listen to some old tunes in their tape vault for inspiration. This is actually where we drew a lot of the, the demos out. A lot of music up there. One of these days, I gotta, you know, you, you, the tapes have been sitting for so long, you have to bake them to make, to make the adhesive go back into the tape. I always kind of thought it was just easier to write a new song than <laughs> dig no, through all the old ones. That. But there's a lot of music up there that's uh, waiting to be it's heard. It's endless, but there's a lot of music in here that's endless too. And here. <laughs> I'm just the luckiest father on the planet. I mean, for, for, for what he's grown up in, he doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, he doesn't do drugs. Uh, You're not so bad either. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Van Halen will be on tour this weekend, business as usual, despite a special holiday on Sunday. Happy Father's Day. When are you going to be a father? <laughs> He's like, stop already. Let's wait for that. No pressure, no pressure. Our thanks, of course, to Eddie and Wolfie for the interview in their home studio. Too cool.